Hi everyone, Denise here. This is my 50 pound bins haul. There are three bins within 45 minutes of my house. I typically go to the bins about twice a month. This particular location I have not been to since November. I have three tiers of what I'm gonna be sharing. First is the items that are washed and live already posted. Second are items that are washed I haven't photographed yet. And the third is items that are just waiting in the wings when I need to post new material, but I'm not as jazzed about the items. I have really picked up a lot of jeans because I don't have a lot of jeans in my closet and um, I thought, okay, time to branch out and I'm trying some brands that I actually never buy. These are Point Sir Denim. I got really excited about them. They're just a straight leg, dark wash. They're in really beautiful condition. Um, they're made in the USA and I was like, wow, these are really cool. I've never heard of this company. And then I discovered it's actually J. Crew's premium den denim line. So I have them up for maybe $38 or something. I'm not trying to charge a lot for them, but they do run about $150 retail. I'm branching out into Lucky Jeans, insert eye roll. I've never sold Lucky Jeans. I have a lot of niche Levi's in my closet. I always sell right away Madewell jeans. Um, I also have four pairs of BDG jeans from Urban Outfitters that were just from my daughter's closet. They're not moving. So these are Lucky brands. These have, they're called the Orta Premium. They have floral embroidery and some distressing. I think I listed them for $32. These are Sophia Boot, a little bit older. They have kind of a Y2K vibe to them. Flare leg, distressed. I think they're 25 in my closet. I picked up a pair of not your daughter's jeans. <laughs> Ankle size 12. They're just a really great wash and they are the lift and tuck so I know they're probably popular among some people. I picked up a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. These are the 121 Slim Straights. These are in really great condition. Dark wash. I kind of went with that. It's the bins. It's not really much of a risk for me to spend $2. I definitely would not thrift Lucky Brand jeans and spend $7 to $10 for them. The next pair of pants I picked up are hiking pants. The brand is Go Light. It used to be out of Boulder. I do well with outdoor gear. I'm from Colorado. I can pick up a lot of really great brands easily. It's a new brand for me. I would say be on the lookout. It's called American Giant. It's just a basic gray hoodie, but it had really nice features like made in the USA. It's got reinforced sleeves. It was just in nice condition. It's gotten a little bit of traction. I, living in this area, I always seem to pick up one sort of sports memorabilia clothing. I got this vintage Bronco sweater. The brand is Cliff Engel, and turns out these are listed a lot for about $120, but seem to sell around $60, so I listed it at $85. It's in really great condition. The next thing I picked up was also something else that someone put back. It is this vintage faux fur poncho. I'm gonna be as bold to say that this is from the 60s. It is actually incredible. The brand, oh gosh, is Geronimo Sportswear. I do have this priced at 60 just because it's in great condition. We'll see. I finally found some free people movement at the bins. These are called the Dream Catcher joggers. They're super soft. They're lined with this kind of terry cloth material. I have these up for 28. This brand is called Natural Life. This is just a cropped sweater. This is also a new brand for me. It's called Fat Face 
Airly is the name of the top. It's a little bit more of like a heavyweight jersey material and has some really great details on the sleeves. It was new with tags. It's retailing for $85. So I posted it for $55. Curious to see how it does. The Aero Layer Running Vest. Fleece in the back, quilted in the front. I do pretty well with um, outdoor women's vests and there's certainly a big community of runners. So this was a no brainer for me. Lightweight too. The next thing I got was this made well. It's called the Double V. It's just a pullover. I think it's from 2020 or it's pretty current. Next up is this 100% cotton LL Bean zip up hoodie sweater. Probably a current style jersey lined. It was an extra large, so I didn't want to pass on that, considering the condition. I love picking up striped items. So the next items that I picked up were actually home goods. I buy a lot of duvets, pillow covers. They seem to be overlooked at the bins. This brand I have never found, and I got really excited for it. I thought initially that this was a shrug. It's Bowl and Branch. Bullen Branch is a high-end sheet and a sort of home good manufacturer. They use organic cotton. For a little bit, they put out a kid's line. And so this is actually a child's blanket. I love the color. I kind of wish it was a shrug. I would have kept it if it was. I love Marameco. These are Marameco for Target napkins. There was four of them, one in that print and one in this print. I'm definitely not going to pass up Marameco, even if it's for Target. That's just a brand I will always, always buy. This is the Pottery Barn Dorm Duvet. can always tell an item is quality if you open it up and you see the ties in the corners of a duvet. It's always an indicator that it's a high-end brand. Restoration Hardware, Pottery Barn, all of those brands are just... Coveted. Okay, and at the bottom of my basket here are some accessories. So, disclaimer, I'm not a coach person. I don't own any coach items. I never have wanted a coach bag. I prefer other brands. So I picked up these Coach Barrett sneakers. They do have some wear in the, t not wear, but scuffs in the toes, but they're actually in really good condition. I just need to spend some time cleaning them up. I think they're really cute. They're a size nine and a half. Bins, couldn't pass on them. I picked up a pair of brown professional dance goes. They're gonna need some Doc Martin Wonder Bomb. Heels were in really great shape. I just shipped out a pair of Dance Ghosts this morning. I sold them for $65 on eBay. I do not pass on Dance Ghosts. I know a lot of people do. These are a size 39. Some things to look out for. This sort of edging here wears out very easily, but I've sold a pair, I just disclose it. And also the heels, they can look really great in the toe box and in the leather. Heels can be super worn out in these. That's happened to me before, and I've decided to not try to sell them. So my next item I will not be selling, and I will actually be making a video about these shoes. I bought a pair of counterfeit, or fake, whatever you want to call it, Birkenstocks. I got really excited. I could only find one, then I found the other one, and I was just like, score, and I didn't really give them a good twice over. I'm gonna make a video about why I think these are not authentic Birkenstocks and uh, counterfeit Birkenstocks exist. And I hope you'll enjoy my video that I make sort of disclosing what is suspicious about these Birkenstocks to me and things for you to look out for. Cause a pair of Boston Birkenstocks, it's like, oh yeah, no brainer, I'm grabbing those. Those are 60 bucks easy, but turns out um, I won't even donate these because I just don't want 
fake going out there and people not knowing and then trying to resell them. Picked up just a cashmere plaid scarf from Nordstrom. Vera Bradley backpack was in nice condition, super cute colors. Vera Bradley is generally a win for me. I picked up this purse. It's really nice leather. The label is um, Peace and Love, Daryl, Westfall, East Hampton. Not a brand I could find any information about online, but I just thought it was really cute. The style of the leather, the straps. I do pick up hats at the bins. This one was a Texas branded Nike hat. This is a random one, but it is a stretching band. Has all the information in it, in the package. These types of items sell through pretty quickly for me. I'm not sure the value of it yet. And the last thing I have in here is a Topo briefcase. It's a Colorado company. They are made in Colorado, made in the USA. I have sold a Topo backpack. I see a lot of Topo items. Okay, there's Louie. <laughs> so these are items that I have washed but have not photographed yet. They'll be my next round of posting. I got this corduroy American girl dress. I have a soft spot for American girls. I paid full retail for so many American Girl items. If I find it at the bins, I feel like I'm recouping all of that money I put out there. Okay, so this brand is new to me. I Jeans by Buffalo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this. It's a double XL though. It's kind of tunicky long line. A really cute floral, to be honest. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. I, I don't know, I thought it was a women's shirt, but the more I look at it, it could be a men's. It has really cool detailing. We'll see. I picked up a classic Woolrich vintage chamois shirt. It's just navy blue. These are so soft. The next item, I don't know, I'm questioning some of my decisions right now. In the moment, you see kind of so much junk that when you find something, sometimes you're like, oh, that's amazing. And it would be nothing I would ever buy thrifting. So this is a cold water creek. Kind of a cotton eyelet on the outside and floral on the inside. I picked up are just two polo shirts. I actually bought these just because there were two of them, both striped. I can sell them as a lot. That's what made it appealing to me. A pair of soft surroundings pants, which I've actually never found pants before. Um, they're just kind of cotton stretchy at the waist, two pockets in the front, super comfy. Yes, on soft surroundings all the time. I always buy it. I never pass on soft surroundings. This next hoodie is a woman's. It's La Sportiva, which is a climbing brand out of Italy. I really liked the colors. I just sold a pair of La Sportiva board shorts. And when I got it home, I realized it's branded with a local pretty popular brewery in Colorado. So I'm going to post it because Avery, I think is actually a, a draw. <laughs> it's not a deterrent that it has a brand. I got this boho peasant top airy. I bought it actually just because of the size. It's a large. Airy has a really roomy fit. I do love the gingham. <sighs> Here's a Chiluli Gardens shirt. Uh, I know there's a big following for Chiluli. 
this feel. Yeah, it's an extra large, super soft, so I went for it. This brand I have never purchased before. It's called Pink Lotus. It seems like it could be like an Amazon brand or something. I might be wrong. I haven't done my research yet. Just a wide leg comfy loungewear that has this mandala embellishment. I said yes. Got this really cute Abercrombie and Fitch. These buttons down the back. It's just sort of a cropped sleeveless shirt, polka dot. I will pick up anything polka dot. This is was a nostalgia purchase. These are a pair of chick jeans, not chic, chick. I would say these are the OG mom jeans. I haven't tried them on yet. They're made in the USA. Maybe something that I wind up keeping. Chick was not a high-end brand, but certainly very popular in the 80s. This is just a Victoria's Secret satin nightshirt. I have another one in my closet. Solid, navy, in really good condition. Had some cute kind of embroidery on the pocket. Picked up this North Face vest. It's actually not fleecy. More of just like a nylon vest. It's not uh, like a warm flare. Picked up a very basic Victoria's Secret bikini top that is for my daughter who goes to school at the beach. Got this We The Free, just a basic gray um, t-shirt, baby doll style, super cute, roomy fit. I could potentially keep this. I don't, I do pick up free people, but it's not a huge seller for me, so. Got this Guns N' Roses tank top. Um, we'll see on that one. I believe these are men's. Just a pair of Ralph Lauren sweats. Super comfy, very soft on the inside. This cropped camo crew neck, sort of a boxier fit. The brand is just alternative. I know this is a brand that you see a lot of people put their logos on this. So this is kind of like a basic brand. I have an Aviator Nation sweatshirt that's very similar to this, so I picked it up. This actually I picked up to take to the Patagonia store. It's just a kid's down jacket. I have another one of my daughters that is in kind of the same not great sellable condition. And so I'm gonna trade them in because they take items and they turn them into other things. I also picked up these Columbia women's hiking. The next item I'm laughing at when I see it's a Brock Hampton tour hoodie. Um, I actually texted my daughter from the bins and said, is Brock Hampton canceled? Some sketchy stuff went on with some members of the band this same day. They they announced that their last show is going to be some festival coming up. So I'm actually excited about this. This was altered by the person who owned it before, but it's in great condition. This is just a Universal Threads shirt. I own one of these, so I bought this one. This will not fit me, but it's really cute. It has embroidery. It's that super soft, gauzy cotton. I just, I love that fabric and I always pick it up. This was a new to me brand and I want to say um, it might be a Stitch Fix brand mix by 41 Hawthorne. I don't know how this is going to do, but it's super soft. It has some lovely floral on the sleeves. The next item is a Torrid blazer. It's kind of jersey material, very stretchy and comfortable. It's a 1X and it's a really great color. It's got pockets on the front. This is an L.L. Bean lamb's wool sweater. It's super pilled, but I don't, it's just so heavy and nice. I couldn't pass it up. I'm gonna see how well I can clean it up. 
Next is my bottom of the barrel items. This is Mud Pie. Not familiar with the name, but I have done well with beachy tunics. People will be going on spring break soon. So I loved the colors and how vibrant this was. I decided just to pick it up, even though I didn't know the brand. It's the bins. I can risk a dollar, dollar fifty. This is an Amper brand, I believe, Monto Los Angeles. It's just such a lovely color. It's a really flattering style. Kind of feels like a blouse, but it's a dress. I do have the belt for it. Next item is another Madewell sweater. Just kind of basic. Army green. Synthetic. Typical Madewell. <laughs> um, these are Victoria's Secret. It's a beach cover-up. A wild fun print cruise beach. I'm going on vacation. Yes, let's do this item. This next item is also another anthro dress. The brand is Aster, the label. This is a really cute cotton lace. I just love the style of it. Um, the slip only goes halfway, so it's kind of a short, and then it's got the long overlay of it. And another dress. This one's super fun. I should be a little bit more inspired to post this. Jace. It's another anthro. It's just a really fun print. It kind of looks like it's a cross stitch, the print. It's just printed on the fabric. It's got a lovely ruffle, super flattering top, v-neck. I picked up this older Madewell blouse. It's 100% silk. Super flattering style, love the color. I got this Everlane cashmere sweater. I always love finding Everlane. I got it home and realized that it had some holes in it, so I may actually contact the company and see what their policy is on holy cashmere. Next up is an army issued wool men's sweater. I do pick up vintage uh, wool that is military issued whenever I can. I have a great pea coat that I've been meaning to post. I have wool pants I've been meaning to post. I just feel like the quality is so amazing and people like it. I love this dress. This is Who What Wear, a brand I would probably not buy anywhere but the bins. It's just a beautiful cotton, has pockets, has lovely tears, uh, v-neck, simple styling, just very basic and lovely. Perfect addition to any closet. This is a polo Ralph Lauren crew neck sweatshirt. I picked this up because of condition. This was kind of random, but it's a really cute sleep sack. I have a feeling I'll just probably give it to a friend who's having a baby. And last, but not least, I have a score from the bins. And that would be a red wool. It's kind of a herringbone wool. If you can look at it really closely, it is a vintage, Christian Dior, 100% wool, pockets, button down the front. It is in amazing condition. The buttons are hidden by this little panel in the front. It's a size eight and I seem to always score one like bougie brand when I go to the bins and it happened to be Christian Dior. So I'm super stoked on that. I think, even though it looks really great, I may have it professionally dry cleaned just so I feel confident when I'm 
pricing it at a very solid price, probably around $99. I have to look to see if I can find comps. And that's a 50 pound haul.